Hey everyone, it's your girl Layla. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to basically be showing you, hopefully, <laughs> how to take out the tarnish on Gucci hardware. So I just wanted to tell you guys really quickly about my experience with 24s.com. If you guys have seen my latest unboxing video on my Gucci Marmont bag, then I just want to kind of elaborate what happened after filming that video and give you guys a little bit of background on why I'm doing this in the first place. So, if you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click the subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, in the unboxing video of my Gucci Marmont bag, I highly recommend watching that one first because I do kind of like my full review on my experience shopping with 24S for the first time. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about basically the customer service after the fact and um, basically how to clean tarnish off of Gucci hardware. I got this information from a blog and I'm really hoping that it actually works. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work, hopefully. Hopefully. So I'm gonna go out actually after filming this video and I'm gonna go ahead and buy that metal polish that this person recommended and I'm gonna show you guys how I clean the tarnish off of this bag. So if you guys want to just watch that part, then I will leave a timestamp somewhere in this clip. If you guys want to watch the full video, I highly encourage it to give you guys kind of some advice if this ever happens to you. So this was my very first time ordering from 24s.com. I really, really liked my experience in the beginning, but when I open the box, the first thing that I look at was the hardware because the two G's on the bag, it just, it stands out. Like it's the first thing you're gonna see. The first thing that I noticed was the under part of the G's were tarnished. And I was like, I even said in that video, I was like looking at it, it was the first thing I noticed. So I was just like, mm, is it supposed to look like that? Is it supposed to have that? I even included a clip at the end of the video, zooming into the hardware and stuff like that. And I literally asked the same question, is it supposed to look like that? I know for the most part, Gucci hardware is usually that like, tarnished gold like it's supposed to look aged it's supposed to look antiqued like an antiqued gold kind of hardware however this hardware was like a really pretty shiny silver hardware so i actually stumbled upon someone else's video on youtube and i asked her when she was unboxing her bag because she got the exact same bag as me in the exact same color i was like does yours have any tarnish around the g's and she said no you should probably contact customer service and get them to fix that for you they're really good at fixing stuff so you should contact them as soon as possible because it's not supposed to have any tarnish on the hardware it is um, more of like a gunmetal hardware versus like a like a sterling silver super shiny metal hardware so she's like the hardware can kind of look dull a little bit in some lights but it definitely should not have any tarnish on it and she was really helpful so thank you girl you were the only one that answered my question <laughs> basically what happened when I finally got that information I messaged 24s like I sent them an email and I was expecting I know that Paris is really far away it has a completely different time zone than Canada I understand that however the amount of time that it took for them to answer me was just really long and I wasn't expecting that. I think I messaged them on like a Thursday and I expected them to maybe take 24 hours and answer me, but I didn't hear back from them until like Monday. So like four days later, I don't know if they just don't work weekends. I just find that their customer service just takes excessively long to reply to things, which I was not really impressed with. I do like that they offered me a free return which is normal for them like they do free return so i asked initially i was like okay my bag has some tarnishing on it i kind of want to i want to exchange it for another one so the customer service rep when once they finally got back to me they asked me for pictures i provided them with pictures and then she messages me back literally like a day or like a day and a half later and is like well I can offer you a free return. However, we are completely sold out of the bag. And so I can't offer you an exchange. So I was like, what? 
oh my god just they they had one other color in this bag which was a really nice pretty like powder pink color but it's not really for me i really like the baby blue and i was really set on that and that is the reason why i purchased the bag is because i really wanted something in baby blue with like silver hardware i think that those two colors just look so good together however i i did message the customer service right back and i was like are you gonna get any in the future if not are you able to offer me some kind of like discount or store credit or something like that since my bag is damaged and i'm likely not going to return it just due to the fact that it's already been sold out like they don't have it anymore it's not like i can just go out and purchase this bag anywhere like it's special to me i really love the color combination so she actually did offer me a 78 dollar reimbursement to get my bag polished so i feel like that's awesome i think um that is a really good solution i think that the customer service rep did a really good job she answered my questions she was able to offer me a discount of 78 dollars which is better than nothing the only downfall of that was that they took so long to answer me and i feel like if they did answer me within the first 24 hours i probably could have got one of like a different bag i could have got got them to put one on hold for me and you know process my return and exchange it for the new bag you know what i mean like i feel like they just took too long when they didn't necessarily need to take that long to answer me so yeah, that was my experience with 24S. I will continue purchasing from them in the future. This doesn't deter me from them at all. I really like that she was able to give me a solution. So I'm about to go and purchase the metal polish and hopefully it's gonna work. I don't give any credit for myself for the tutorial that you guys are about to see because I got this from a purse blog and I will link that blog in the description box below. But I'm gonna attempt to polish the tarnish off of my purse. <laughs> guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already and i will see you guys soon in my next one bye
Hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side